what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to bring Microsoft Teams in from the online version into the app version. So what you want to do firstly is you want to go to Stratus uh, and you want to click on these useful links here. This is where you check your email and this is where you get Microsoft Teams or view Microsoft Teams. So we want to click on the Microsoft Teams link here and it's going to open up your Microsoft Teams. Yours may not look like this and that's okay. Yours probably will look like a grid view and that is perfectly fine. What uh, we want to do is we want to come down here to the bottom left hand corner. Okay, right down the bottom left, see over here where it says download the desktop app. You're going to click on that and follow through the instructions. Once you have finished downloading the desktop app and following the instructions, you will open up Microsoft Teams on your laptop and it will look something like this. So as you can see now, uh, this has opened up my Microsoft Teams app. Looks exactly the same. The only difference is that I don't have a URL up the top here and I'm using the app version on my laptop. What you want to do is go down to the bottom of your taskbar, right click and click pin to taskbar and then it will always be there. If I select one of my teams, my year 12 biology for example, what you will see in here is I'll have posts from my teacher, I'll have files that they may have given me for the class, and I will have a class notebook. Class notebook is just another name for OneNote. All right. And what we can do instead of looking at it like this, uh, we can actually make this come into OneNote on our computer down the bottom as well on our taskbar. And I'll show you how to do that as well right now. So once we've opened this, this is where all our teaching notes are. And you're going to have your name sitting here. You can have a content library. This is where your teacher will put in all the information for you. And we want to, instead of looking at it in a small little square like this, we want to make it nice and big. So we're going to go open and we're going to go open in the app. Now, when I click open in the app, what it's going to do is it will open uh, OneNote for me. If it doesn't, that doesn't matter. Um, just click browser and open in the app again and it should fire it up for you, which is great. So now, now that I've opened it, you can see that the, the it's a nice big screen. Instead of looking at on the small little little window here, it's in a nice big screen. And I can come down to my content library and I can find the relevant lesson or information. And your teacher may have posted something into your um, own individual folders and sections as well. So just have a look in both of those and that's where you will find your day-to-day -day, uh, information, okay? So how we started off again was we went to Stratus, all right? We selected Microsoft Teams and it opened up Microsoft Teams in the internet. And you can see this is what it looks like on the internet. And here's all the teams that you've been assigned to. And your teacher would have given you a code for those or added you. Um, if they've given you a code, you click on join a team and you put the code in over here. All right. Um, but let's, let's assume they've already added you. You can take these teams instead of looking at it on the internet and having to go through Stratus the whole time. You can come down the bottom left hand side here, click on download the app, download it, and then it will put it onto your taskbar. Remember to pin it there. And then you're looking at one and the same thing, okay? Except this is not online, this is on your computer. Here's all the teams that you'll be in. You can select a team, and here'll be all the information. So here's your old your lessons and some uh, information. Here's some files that your teacher might have put there. And here's your class notebook. And within your class notebook, this is just another name for OneNote, remember? So you don't have to go to your teams all the time. And at the moment, I'm looking at it in a small square. I prefer looking at it in OneNote uh, because it looks a lot bigger. So I click open in the app. And if it doesn't open straight away, that's okay. You can just close it. I don't know why it's doing that today. And you click open in the app and then it will open it for you. As I said, your teacher will have a whole lot of sections here. So 
your different achievement standards or your different units. You select whichever one you're working on, select the lesson or information, and then you have your own folder down the bottom here that you can work in as well, and your teacher will see that because it will bold up. So for example, this young man, I can see that he's been doing some work because his name's bolded and his isn't, so I've already checked up on him. I did it just before. Uh, hopefully that helps. There's also some Word documents that your teacher can send you as well. Just give them an email.